the fifth and final section in this chapter on random variables concerns inequalities. Now there are two inequalities that are going to be considered here. The first is Markov's inequality and the second is Chebyshev's inequality. These are not the only two inequalities that are out there in probability theory. There are Jensen's inequalities and some others that we could cover but we will just cover these two because they are two of the most well known. Here is the motivation. Sometimes it's useful to have bounds on probabilities when only partial information, for example maybe one or two moments, is known about a distribution. In fact when one moment is known that will lead to Markov's inequality and when the first two moments are known that will lead to Chebyshev's inequality. So here is Markov's inequality. Let x be a random variable with non-negative support. That is, the probability x greater than or equal to 0 is equal to 1. There are plenty of random variables with a support that looks like this. For example, if you look at the time between arrivals to a queue, well, that time between arrivals has to be greater than or equal to 0. As a second example, consider the lifetime of a person or of a building or of an automobile or of a manufactured item you will always have a non-negative lifetime so this is a even though this is a restriction there are plenty of things that will satisfy this restriction and for that random variable we know the expected value of x and it exists then for any positive constant a the probability x is greater than or equal to a is less than or equal to the expected value of x divided by a. So again we have one moment, namely we know the expected value of x and knowing the expected value of x we can bound this particular probability.